on YouTube, it's Walker again. I was just working on this trim back here, and I got to thinking some because I've seen guys at the boat ramp have problems with getting their motor to come up and down, you know, and they're over there finagling with it or whatnot, and, you know, I've had the same problem. I had to figure it out. And maybe somebody's got that problem that watch this video, and maybe I can help you. Most of the trims that I have seen have got a bleeder valve where you can put fluid in uh, if it gets low. On this particular one from 89, it's easy to get to. It's got a flat head for a flathead screwdriver, but I'm going to tell you what. First time I fooled with it, I couldn't move with a screwdriver. That dude was in there. That right there will fix your problem. She's sitting here just pouring fluid. Let me grab his flashlight and kind of give you an idea here. Maybe I can show you a little bit better with some light. It's starting to get a little dark. All right, see if I can show you on the video here. This right here. This right here is your draining plug. Right there is to drain it all out. But if she's leaking air into the system, this is the one you need. On this particular one, they're all different. But it's the same concept. That dude right there. Now she sat here. She doesn't seem to do it. When it's tilted up, it seems to hold better. But when I let it down, that's when she starts sucking air. And she don't want to go back up. When you're out on the water and your motor don't go up and down, you need to trim it up when you're shallow. You, uh, you know, them lights are kind of aggravating me behind me there. You can get in trouble when you need to raise it up and you can't, is what I'm getting at. Like I said, I'm going to order a rebuild kit. And I'll do a little video on this dude putting that seal in there. It might help somebody out. Anyway, listen right here. When I break this thing loose, you're going to hear it spew. You can hear it over the radio. All right. Y'all might not could have heard that. But anyway... When you back that off, that lets the air pressure out. Because it's sucking it from right here. Right here, your shaft. Unless your motor up and down. I don't know if y'all can see all that fluid right there. And the air bubbles on it and whatnot. That's where she's sucking air. And when you bleed that off, that lets your air out. And the fluid pumps past the air that just came out. And she'll go to working again. It'll take her a second, but she'll get the idea and she'll come down or maybe not. At this point, if your motor's up, you're, there she goes. I was going to say, at that point, if your motor's up, you're okay. You can get her on the trailer. I have had it to do it. I get the motor about where I want it to load the boat. But I always like to trim it on up so it don't hit the ramp coming out. You hit the switch. <laughs> It don't do nothing. Just so sorry, and you can hear the air just squeaking and cycling through there. And when it's down, you can't get to any of that. If you can see right there, it's up under it. I don't know if I can shine. I got to do some better video in here. See, it's up under. You might could get to it right there, but it wouldn't be easy. But anyway, yeah, just bleed it off, man. If you can get to it, get somebody with you, pick up on it. Pick up on the foot while you're pushing the trim button up. She'll come up. It's kind of aggravating to do by yourself. But it's manageable. But she wouldn't move a while ago when I got her up. I bled that air off and see. She's working. Now she's sucking air the whole time she's working, but it'll get you out of a pinch. I'm going to let her all the way up and I'll show these air bubbles. See, she gets almost up and she wants to stop. Oh, yeah. You can hear it. See it? I don't know if I'm showing you or not. I can't see the camera. Oh, there it is. See all that? Just air all in that fluid. Just bubbling. I mean, this fix will start running off in the shop floor. She's already done it a little bit over there since it's been in the shop. It's got a pretty bad leak, I'd say. It's, it's got a pretty fire leak going. Anyway, I thought I'd throw that out there while I was peeling on this. Y'all have a good and God bless, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later. Hey, cut this thing off. I'll figure this out for so.